Welcome to our Friday's broadcast of the Gospel Truth. This week I've been sharing about how God wants you well. And I'm not just sharing it in theory. I'm not just talking about something that I have heard somebody else preach. These are things that I personally have lived and we are now launching our fifth Healing Journeys DVD. We now have five of these, over 20 testimonies of documented cases of people being miraculously healed. And I tell you, this week we've shown people that were healed of fibromyalgia and all kinds of uh, pain in their body. We've had uh, people that were healed of cancer, Andrew Mullins, and just anyway, we've been sharing these tremendous testimonies about how God is still healing today. And I've got another testimony to share with you about eyes, blinded eyes that were open. But let me just share these verses before we go into that today. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, it's talking about Jesus. It says, "...who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed." You know, over in Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 5, it says, "...by his stripes we are healed." Here it quotes that and it says, "...by his stripes we were healed." Isaiah was looking forward to what Jesus would do, and Peter here was looking backwards to what Jesus has already done. And man, this is really significant. There are a lot of people who believe that Jesus can heal. You know, really, if you stop and think about it, if God is God, then one of the ways that you define God is that there are no limitations. There are no limits. If there were things He couldn't do, well, then He wouldn't really be God. The only thing that Scripture says that God cannot do is lie, and that's because that's a choice of His will. He cannot fail, and that's because it's, it's part of His character. But He is God. He could do whatever He wanted to, but He has already healed us. And see, some people believe God can do it. Over in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, it says, "...without faith it's impossible to please Him, for he that cometh to God must believe that He is, not that He was, you know, just back in the Bible God did this, but present tense that He is. And you can't just believe that God's the great I'm going to be. There are some Christians that'll say, oh yeah, when we get to heaven, then everything will be fine. But they believe that God back in the past, He did miracles, in the future He'll do it. But there are a huge amount of Christians that don't believe that God does miraculous things today. But again, Hebrews eleven six says, Without faith it's impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, not that He was or is going to be, but that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. You've got to believe in the present tense. And see, this is what 1 Peter 2, 24 is doing. It says, By His stripes we were healed. If Jesus has already healed me, then I am healed. Now see, if you think, Oh, God is going to heal me, that has an element of doubt in it because you're saying it hasn't happened yet. And who knows? You might not reach that. You know, if I had a goal over here 10 or 15 feet from me and I said, I'm going to go there, well, that has an element of doubt in it because somebody could tackle me. I could trip and fall. I might never reach there. If I'm not there yet, well, then I might not ever get there. But when you start looking at it as it's already done, you know, like I am sitting in this chair, how can I doubt that I'll ever sit in this chair when I'm already sitting in it? You know, some of you looking at this think, well, of course, you know, that'd be crazy for you to doubt that you could sit in this chair when you're already doing it. If you could ever get this concept that by His stripes you were healed, you aren't waiting on God to heal you. You were already healed. The stripes that it's talking about are the stripes that Jesus took in Herod's judgment hall. He was beaten, and that was 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago, you were healed. And I know some people struggle with this because they say, no, I, I wasn't healed. I mean, here's my doctor's report. Here's the pain in my body. I can see this tumor. I can feel this pain. I'm not healed. You're only searching the physical realm. But if you are born again, there's another part to you, the spirit man that has been changed. You've been born again. And in your spirit, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 19 says that you have the exact same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. 
living on the inside of you. The same power that reached into that tomb and after three days of death, Jesus was miraculously raised from the dead. That same power that raised Lazarus from the dead, the same power that opened the blind eyes, that saw the lame walk and did all of these things, that resurrection power is on the inside of you. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 19. He's not praying that you'd get something new. In verse 18, he made it very clear. He's, he's just praying, open up the eyes of their understanding that they may see what they've already got. And then in verse 19, he begins to describe what we've already got. The same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead and set Him at His own right hand in the heavenly places. You already have raising from the dead power on the inside of you. You do not need God to come heal you. You don't need God to stretch forth His hand and to do something. What you need to do is discover what you've already got and quit being limited to only what you can see, taste, hear, smell, and feel. If you are going just by your body and say, but I still feel pain, how could I be healed? You're ignoring who you are in the Spirit. To really see the power of God operate, we've got to go beyond just what we feel, just beyond what the doctor says. And we've got to take the Word of God and you believe it and then you take the Word and you begin to speak to your problems and you command these things to line up. I wished I could talk to you personally right now. I have shared this with thousands of people in meetings, but I mean on a one-to-one. -one. I've shared with people, and when I start sharing healing from this perspective to where it not only can be done, but it's already done. By His stripes, you were healed. When you start seeing it from that standpoint, and you start fighting and resisting the devil and the symptoms, not from the standpoint of trying to get healed, but start doing it because I am healed. And you aren't going to steal from me what Jesus has already purchased me. I refuse to give this up. I refuse to act sick. I have seen hundreds, thousands of people that once they get this attitude and start fighting from a position of victory instead of trying to go and obtain victory, I have seen thousands and thousands of people heal. You know, that's what this book entitled You've Already Got It is all about. Most people are trying to ask God to do something for them and they're begging, oh God, please bless me. When the Bible says in Ephesians 1, 3, you're already blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. They're saying, oh God, please heal me. When the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, that by His stripes you were healed. And they're, they're finding out that they've already got what it is that they're asking for. You know, in this book, I've got a picture of a dog chasing his tail. And people think, what does that have to do with you've already got it? It's just like a dog chasing his tail. If he ever catches it, he's going to find out he already had it. <laughs> and there's Christians that are begging God, oh God, please heal me. You're already healed. Oh God, please prosper me. You're already blessed. You're already prospered. You don't need God to do something. When you got born again, you've got everything that God is and everything that God has, and you've already got raising from the dead power on the inside of you. What you need to do is rise up and find out what God has given you. And then you take your authority and you start speaking to that problem. There is a huge difference between you speaking to God about your problem and asking for His help and saying, Oh God, I am nothing. I have nothing. I can do nothing, but you could do all things. Would you please touch me? There's a huge difference between a prayer like that and a prayer that says, Father, thank you. I believe what your word says, that by your stripes I was healed, that I've got raising from the dead power on the inside of me. And now I take my authority and Satan, I command you to get off of my body I command you to leave me alone. Body, I command you. I speak to you in Jesus' name. Eyes you see clearly in Jesus' name. There's a difference between that type of prayer and that previous type of prayer. And you know what the difference is? Healing. You will see the healing power of God manifest when you begin to start taking your authority and using it. And this is where so many people are missing it. Most people just cry out to God out of pity. I've had people come to me by the thousands that just 
tried to impress me with how pitiful their situation was. They are crying. And again, I'm compassionate towards people. It may sound like I'm not. I love people, but sometimes I love people enough to tell them the truth. You know, I can either get down and cry with you and watch you die, or I could tell you the truth and kind of shake you and say, man, take your authority and use it and get you healed. I'd rather see you healed, even though it might not feel good at first, for you to recognize that you are just passively standing there. So people come up to me and they tell me how pitiful their situation is. They're crying and they're trying to impress me, hoping that out of pity or sympathy, I'll somehow or another release this power into their life. And they want me to agree with them. If I agree with them, they're going to die. Because it is not true that you don't have any control. I don't care if the doctor has told you you're going to die. I don't care if your friends have told you you're going to die. I don't care if you sat there and nursed somebody else as they died of the exact same thing that you've got. Regardless of what circumstances or people or the doctors have told you, God has the power to heal you. And if you are born again, that power is already on the inside of you. But it's got to be released through your words. It's voice activated. You need to go to speaking, not to God about your problem, but you need to speak to your problem about God. And you need to take your authority and command things to happen. You know what I want to do now? I want to play a video of a lady named Bianca. She lives in Norway, and I've met this woman. She came to my meetings when I was over in England, and uh, she is a very good friend of some mutual good friends of ours, Robert and Elizabeth Murin, who I've had on this program before. And Robert and Elizabeth begin to share with Bianca about how it was God's will for her to be well. She had a problem with her eyes that this video will make it much clearer, but it was like looking through a straw and her vision, all of her peripheral vision was gone and she was getting to where she could just see a little pinpoint right in the center. And Robert and Elizabeth began to share with her the truths that they had learned. They referred her to my website where she went and got materials. And Bianca started just believing God, taking her authority, and one day she rose up and got to speaking to her eyes the exact same thing that I've been sharing with you today. She got that attitude. She started speaking, not to God about her problem, but speaking to her problem, commanding her eyes to see. And it didn't just happen instantly. It began and then it would fade and she had to stay with it. And then even in the next few days after she received her miracle, it tried to come back on her and she just stood her ground. And to this day, Bianca has had better than 20-20 vision. A woman who was nearly totally blind, God has restored her. And the good news is that what God did for Bianca, He will do for you. And now Bianca is not only enjoying life and enjoying seeing again, but man, she has taken this newfound faith and understanding that she has about the things of God, how that God has already done His part, and now it's up to us to stand and take our authority. And she's using that and she's sharing this with people all over the world. She's got a ministry going. Awesome things are happening. And so today I'm going to play her video and Bianca is going to share with you. And I tell you, you can stand up and you can receive your healing today. At the end of our program, we'll be giving you information about how you can get all of these materials that we're offering. And also we'll have a number on the screen. And you can call and there are people that will pray with you and help you to take your authority and to see this healing power of God manifest. But this is a real faith builder. Watch this story of Bianca as she talks about how that Jesus healed her today. Imagine having to take in a gorgeous sunset one cloud at a time. Imagine seeing the world through a straw. You've just experienced rod cone dystrophy a rare and incurable disease which often leads to blindness. This is the story of Bianca, a young woman in Norway, and her fight to have her eyes open. When I was a child, I could see everything, but the field was going smaller, 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 smaller. And at the end, I only had the vision here in the central part. In 2008, I had the last examinations. And then they told me it was 10 and there it was only 15% left. 
was nothing you can do about it and it was a serious problem, it can be worse. Almost blind or blind. No, that was not a nice doctor's report. During this time, Bianca and Gerd attended a small church in Hamar, where they met Robert and Elizabeth Murin. Bianca was attracted to Elizabeth's Christ-centered confidence and had to know what her secret was. She gave me her visit card and then she wrote on the back side, go to the website of Andrew Womack because we have learned a lot of it. It changed my life and I think it is what you need. We were sitting there and saw the first teaching and it was the starting of the teaching, Spirit, Soul and Body. When I hear it, I think, why does I struggle 20 years to figure it out? And now I'm hearing all of it and that's all I need. It was a big revelation. And it totally, totally changed our minds and our lives. After that, we saw some other teachings. God wants you well and also you have already got it. We heard so much new thing and we heard that God has do everything already and uh, it was a very big change in our life. Now I realize that, okay, my eyes, I don't need to have this. Why I have these eyes if God already done it? He, it is finished. This is our third tape in a series that I have entitled, You've Already Got It. And this tape is entitled, It's in the Spiritual Realm. First two tapes. All throughout her house, Bianca posted scriptures of God's promises to help keep her mind focused on all Jesus had provided. One day, this paid off when Andrew's revelation finally became her own. I was sitting and reading the Bible, and then I realized that, wow, what I have, it's so amazing. And I just started to praise God about it and thank Him for everything He's done and that He don't need to do something to heal me. That he did already do that on the cross. Andrew told, just speak to your problem. So I actually speaking to my eyes and say, eyes, you were healed in the name of Jesus. So you must see, you must see now you are healed, you know? <laughs> and then I opened my eyes and it was just like, it was clear and unclear, but it was, coming and coming and going. But I was just praising God. I closed my eyes again and I was praising God and thank Him for what He has done. And, and then I, I told my eyes again, you are healed in Jesus' name. And then I was opening my eyes and they were totally clear. I could see everything. And I think, wow, that is so amazing. I could see the trees outside, the flowers, everything. It was so good. I thought I can see Gert. He was working 30 kilometers from our house. So I drove with the car to see him. And then I told him, hey, you, go with me. And then there was standing a car, maybe 20 meters, I don't know. And I told him, you know that sign? And I take the numbers of the sign of the car. And he looked at me. What's happened? So I'm healed. <laughs> I can see everything. It is so strange. And we were so glad and I testing it out whole day. The first week I had actually a headache because I seeing so much. I was totally healed, but in the days after, sometimes it just going back to the old. I was looking and then, oh, it's not clear anymore. And then I felt like it's going till the old again. I was mad about my eyes because it was like the devil is knocking, see if I'm open. And I say, no, I'm closed. <laughs> and I say it literally, I am closed, I am healed. So eyes you must see in Jesus name. And then whoosh, it's opened again. But it happened a couple of times. But now it's fine, it's never coming back again. Bianca and her family have been forever changed after Andrew's teaching pointed them to the true gospel. Not willing to keep this to themselves, they share Andrew's message with their church every Tuesday, often accompanied by Robert and Elizabeth. To this day, they are good friends. They have also shared Andrew's teachings with Maud, a young girl who was staying with them. 
she was really struggling in her life. And then she moved to us and uh, three weeks later, she became born again. We bought him some books in Holland, the new you and the Holy Spirit. It was a new process. And now in August, she is moving out to going to Garrett's College in Belfast. It was very nice for us to see this change so fast and to deliver a young girl to this Bible school. It was the best for us what we can think of. And Maud was only the beginning. Bianca and Gerd are starting a ministry to help struggling young mothers in Norway keep their baby as an alternative to having an abortion. Their idea was inspired by Water Springs Ranch, an organization supported by Andrew Womack Ministries that provides Christian homes and nurturing to abused and neglected children. From seeing life through a straw to a vision certified better than 2020, Bianca now sees the world with eyes of love and compassion. Thanks to the free teachings made available by Andrew's partners, Bianca has had both her physical and spiritual eyes opened. She now uses her testimony to help others see the free gift of God's unconditional love and grace. Man, isn't that awesome? I tell you, I love that. I love seeing Gert and Bianca. They, they've just moved to a new level. And I tell you, we, there are so many Christians that don't know what we have. And I know that there's some of you that watched their testimony and you were probably in tears thinking, oh God, would you do that for me? He has. You need to quit praying and asking God to do it and start believing that by His stripes you were healed. It's already done. Man, that's awesome. Again, I want to encourage you. The video that you saw today, we have it on our website. You can go and get them free of charge or you can order all of these Healing Journeys DVDs. You know, just about everything I have is available free of charge, but there is a benefit to you getting these things hard copy instead of just off the web. If you were to get these, you could share this with other people. And I encourage you, we've got a whole package. Our announcer is going to give you all of this information and share with you about how you can get this. But if you've been blessed today, if your faith has been encouraged, I encourage you to receive personally. But if you don't have something you're dealing with now, please help us reach out to people. You can send them to our website. They can see these DVDs free of charge on our website. It's not the money that we're after. We are trying to get the Word of God out to people. And I just encourage you, even if you don't have something that you're dealing with, please help us share these truths with other people. Man, this just changes people's lives when they come to realize the supernatural, miraculous power of God that is available to us today. 